Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm back with Lumpy Custard and if you don't know what I'm talking about there'll be a link uh, below in the details and this was originally a book about Lumpy Custard and it's now my Christmas memories book so I've got a few more entries to make we've been out and about a little bit so we're going to use the next four pages to record some of our outings. So I'm going to do these two first and let's do this one on this page and this one on this page. So first of all I'll just um, tell you what this is all about. It's a picture of the Radio Times. The Radio Times is a book that, well a magazine that is really TV listings but it's here it's sort of tradition that you buy well it's tradition in our house <laughs> even although you know what's on the telly um, through the menus and whatnot um, this always comes out a couple of weeks before Christmas and you get to read some articles about what's coming on um, and it was always the Radio Times um, in years past was always the BBC and then you had to buy the TV Times to find out what was on STV which was the channel with the adverts. The BBC we don't have adverts and so but nowadays you get they list all the um, the channels so you only need to buy the one but I thought I would take a picture of this one particular this year because it's got an article about a journal in it. There's a programme called Wurzel Gummidge and Wurzel Gummidge is a scarecrow that comes alive. It's a kiddies programme um, and it's a scarecrow that comes alive but they've mocked up a, a junk journal <laughs> when I seen it I was like oh my look at that. So there's Wurzel Gummidge's book. It says Wurzel Gummidge, his book, and you can see how it's a handmade junk journal. And then he's got entries. He's got like nature entries here. <laughs> and he's got these. Look, insects. It says what insects I dream about and there's bee and dragonfly and whatnot. And then there's birds. And he's also got his tree which pops out of his middle page and then he's got a drawing of himself Wurzel by Van Gogh and he's got an old pound note that he keeps it's just <laughs> I just thought it was just amazing that they would have um, this in the TV guide so I thought right, I'm going to put that in my book so here's a picture of the Radio Times and that's going there and um, I'm going to do these two pages as, as one page because I've got this for the middle I thought would be quite nice here. So I kind of want to do the layout in the, the um, like as a, as a one, even although it's two um, things. So this is Millie. This is Millie. Um, with her ladybird coat on and a robin collar and we were in Argyle Street um, in a coffee shop and she was standing, this is actually a window and she was standing looking out the window at all the people in the rain and the people walking by are going, oh look at the dog and so there's a big lit up reindeer here and that's a building that's covered in an advert for the, the witcher and it's got two big claws that come out <laughs> Anyway, that was in um, Cafe Nero in Argyle Street. So I we'll just want to record our visit to Argyle Street and um, use these little bits to, to decorate. So quite easy. I have also got my stamped titles. Um, I used my Versafine Onyx Black ink pad and this old typewriter alphabet stamp set and just printed them out to stamp them out before I came on just to make sure that I'll, well not make sure just to save time because it's 
I'm thinking it's probably quite, just let's take a lump of this off. It's probably quite boring to watch somebody a uh, tear a uh, stamp. <laughs> so we want these two. Right. Okay. So we're quite orgy. Oh! Oh, do you know? Oh, that'll just stick on and you'll just never know. You won't tell anybody, will you? It can be our secret. <laughs> right, let's not use the ruler. Because this, this uh, book paper is actually really, really old. And it just does tear. I should have been more careful. So maybe about there. And... Okay, put that on top of that a little bit once it's stuck down. And we'll have that up there. I think nice and easy. This mat's hard to move things once it's they're down. Okay, let's stick. So I'm thinking I'm going to maybe cut this because it's going to be a bend. And I think, I don't think it will stay down. So let's just take all the bits off just now. And let's just find out where we need to cut it. I wonder if it would stick. No, I don't think it will. I'm going to cut. So yes, we're quite organised. The parcels are all wrapped. The food's in. <laughs> Main thing. And yeah, about there. Okay. I'm just going to use my glue stick to get this down. So it's Hubby's birthday and um, the next two pages will probably be about his birthday. So we were out for brunch this morning. He originally wanted to go for a pizza, but the way it turned out with the weather, it's an absolutely dreary day. It's not pleasant at all, so it wouldn't be nice to sit out side and we're not all that keen on being inside at the moment but as it turned out the place we went to for brunch was really quiet I'm just going to bunch that up there and move this over yeah it was nice and quiet so we just decided to sit in and it's dog friendly so all good. And what did I have? I had a smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel. Mm. Yum. Hubby had a bacon sandwich. But there's a bacon sandwich and a bacon sandwich. This was lovely thick bread and it was a triple sandwich so there was two layers of bacon <laughs> and I've got a wee robin just for in there so we had that and a coffee so that was up in Great Western Road in the West End he likes going up there Right, is that me done for that side? I think so. So we had this. And this. 
in this little robin for here. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. Yep, that'll do it. So then we left there and we jumped onto the motorway and went down to the wee shopping centre that we usually go to, down to the fort. And, um, and we had another coffee <laughs> and a bit of iced gingerbread. It's like it's well seen at somebody's birthday. So, and then we come home. And I'm here doing this and hubby's playing around with the telly. I was going to add this because for Millie it is a wonderful life. People were asking about her in the coffee shop at the, at the shopping centre. They were wanting to know all the the ins and outs of adopting and what greyhounds are like and <laughs> it's nice when people ask you think oh maybe they'll get one and that's another one got in a home yes i'm quite happy with that what do you think that fits in with the rest yep good uh, you would never know well maybe a wee bit <laughs> Right, okay, what have we got next? Next we've got these two pictures. And these two are the Christmas market. So that's Hubby, oh, I've got a little bit. That's Hubby and Millie standing beside one of the stalls and then the, the grill and there's all different food stalls and selling little Christmas knickknacks and things. So there's that, and there is a visit to George Square, which is in Glasgow. That's the famous square in Glasgow. Um, the city chambers are there, and they do it all up nice, but you can see it was a right grey, dull day. Um, and you can't see that the trees all lit and the statues all lit there, but anyway. I thought we would just, and there's lit up reindeers. There's four reindeers there at the side of the tree. Not real reindeers. <laughs> As you can see. Right, so for this one, let me just get a little thing to stop that bouncing. I've got this piece here, which I thought was quite nice for that. And this here. So really easy. And we just need to figure out where we're going to put our titles. Let's see if I can tear this one without a disaster. Mm -hmm. Let a wee bit more of that. And there we are. So we might have to split Christmas market. And we'll just la la overlap it over on the, to the photograph, I think. And George Square. George Square and some of the streets leading off is where we watched filming one year, about three, four years ago, maybe. Um, we watched them filming. It was um, The Fast and the Furious. They had done it all up like him um, because Glasgow's buildings look a bit like um, 
New York or Boston or wherever it, should, it was. It's, um, so that was quite fun to see all the American flags and we had put some of the, changed some of the signs and there was traffic lights, different traffic, American style traffic lights, which was quite fun to see. And then we watched the fast cars and the motorbikes chasing them. And they must have done it about, I don't know, four or five times. <laughs> there was a a bang in the a bang bang in the distance, which I think was pretend shooting. And then the next minute there was the roar of the the cars and the motorbikes. Like, oh here they come. <laughs> but we stood and watched it for a while. I quite like when it overlaps like that. It just brings everything together a bit, doesn't it? Right. And let's see for this one. Definitely down there. So it's horrible weather just now. Absolutely horrible. Really misty and wet and cold and oh whoops just not nice at all anyway it's not stopping us we'll be in all day tomorrow which is christmas eve to get everything organized for the for our three guests coming There's just going to be the five of us. So we'll last minute preparations. Get the timetable made up for when you put all the things in the oven. <laughs> so that everything's ready all at once. Squirt a bleach down the toilet. <laughs> get the music sorted. Get the champagne on ice. I don't like champagne, it gives me a sore head. I'll take a wee glass of red wine, if you don't mind. <laughs> right, I think that's me. So... The Radio Times, a Gile Street, the Christmas Market, and a visit to George Square. Yes, I'm pretty pleased with that. That washi tape, I think, needs stuck down better. So, we've got Hubby's birthday, probably will be the next one, and then on Christmas Eve, and then a few for Christmas Day. Yes we'll have some opening of the secret santas and um picture of the christmas table and yeah so enough left to fill up the rest of the what's going to happen okay i'm going to leave it there so if you're still with me i would like to wish you a very merry christmas and um yeah so if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and like I say I hope you have a lovely time and um, and I'll see you after the big day. Bye for now. <laughs>